Hello and welcome again to the Practical SQL for Beginners tutorial. We have been using Adventure Work Database to learn SQL. In this video, I will discuss the different joins in SQL. First, why do we even need SQL joins? Why SQL joins? Remember, we're talking about relational database management system. They are relational because information are not in a single table, they are in different tables and are then connected together through keys that makes for relationship. So when you want to spool data or get business report, it's often time involve retrieving columns from these different tables. So for you to then perform SQL joins, you need to understand the business as well as the database. You know, without the understanding of the business and the database, you will struggle with SQL joins. Although there's some logical thinking that goes into them. So how do we address the SQL challenges? I mean, the business knowledge as well as the um, database. I have, for example, for Adventure Works, I have two other things here. I have a data dictionary. Uh, you might not have this for your organization or maybe the one you have is, you know, maybe not updated. For example, the last updated data dictionary by Microsoft Adventure Works was 2010. And imagine that as far back, a lot of things has changed about these database and their tables. I got to find out about this as well, which is from Data Edo, uh, which is from Data Edo. And I'm going to share the link for you to download. It gets you familiar with Adventure Works, even though the last time it was updated was in 2017. I am using Adventure Works. 2019. There are a few things that change, but this will help you. Maybe it also creating that kind of scenario around you that the data dictionary you might have for your organization might either be incomplete or not even exist. So you just have to make use of those things around you. The second one I also have is the diagram, the database diagram. In the last video, I mean the previous video after this, the link is also available in the playlist. I showed how you can create a database diagram. This particular one was created for Adventure Work 2008 database. That's far back. We are using 2019. That's 11 years difference. But this sort of helps us to understand the schemas, the tables, even though some of these keys are no longer there. So I'll be combining this diagram alongside the diagram that I've created in SQL, um, SQL Server Management Studio, and also the data dictionary to do, um, to do demonstration in this course. So let's go back to our slide. We have been able to check the database diagram. I don't need to show you that again. Let's then go into the SQL. A join clause in SQL is used to combine rows from two or more tables based on a related column between them, which I've talked about. We use that to join different tables together to get particular reports. I'm going to be using set theory to demonstrate these joins. It's very easy to use set theory. You can always expand it. And the first thing is inner join. From set theory, we have set A, set B. And you can see the inner join means what they have in common. As you can see, it returns records that have matching values in both tables. Only those records where they have something in common. You have data on the table one, you have data on table two about them. So it's going to return only those things. So others, it will leave them out. The second one is left join. From what you can see in this shade is the left table is you take everything in the left table, you know, but you know everything in the left table means there's a part of it that the first table has, you know, meaning the two tables are related and that's why we have the center. So it's going to take everything in the left table, simple, returns all records from the left table and the match records from the right table. If there are columns in the left table that are no value in the right table, you're just going to see those things as more or less empty, none. We don't have the right join. Similar thing, you can flip a left to become a right, as you can see right there. You know, so it's not different. It's just that here the focus is on the right table and not the left table. And lastly, we have the full outer join where you joins everything, just you know them together. That's full outer join the left table and the right table. All together, you combine them to uh, you know to become one. We're going to demonstrate you through the practical, but I have a table that I'm going to use example tables my left table is a product table which is found on the production the product in the schema that we're going to use and we have the right one to be the sales order table which is uh, also contains the sales details i'll go to the um diagram now so that you can see how this table will look like 
So let's go to the diagram. All right. So in this diagram, you will be able to see the production. Yes. So this is the production table, and we talk about uh, product. So this is production. The product. This is the table, and we also talk about sales. So if we go back to sales. Sales is up here. It says sales order table. This is this sales table. If you follow this line, you see these tables are related one way or the other. And what we are using in this first you know, table here is sales order details, actually sales order details and production, the product. So if you go back here, production, you see this product and sales order detail. This is sales order detail and this is product. This table, linking to this table, will require, you have to check for what are the primary keys, how can they link together. And that is already, you know, being sorted out. We're going to do that in practical session. So let's look at it in line with these two tables. Says other details and product. So how do they, they get connected? First, inner join. If I carry out inner join here, I mean, give me the product table, details on the product table, and give me some things on the says other detail. And here, this information are coming from product table, product name, product ID, product number. But on the sales order table, we're having the sales order details, sales order ID as well as the unit price. Here, we can see that only the details that are, you know, only the product that have been sold, you know, that's what will be returned. So you're going to get just that. Only the product that have been sold, you know, that you have details about them on the sales order details. That's what you will get. Then we'll move to the next one, left join, where we are preserving the left table, which is the product table. And, uh, you know, right table, we are not preserving that. So here, you can see, for example, those, not just the records that, not just the product that have been sold, even product that have not been sold, you see them, but more or less, null. You can see null at the right-hand side here. All right. So let us also move to the SQL right join, where you see the right table, similar thing to what we did before. Uh, the product table, I've switched it to my right, and I have my sales order details, you know, at my left. It's still going to preserve those things at the right and have none for areas on the left where the values are not there. And lastly, the inner, the full outer join, which sort of combines everything, you know, both on the left, both on the right. It returns all records from both tables. It will preserve on match rows from both sides of the join, meaning if are none at the on the left hand side, you're going to see the none. If there are you know, none on the right hand side, you're going to see the null as well. So you just combine everything together. I meaning for sales where there's the details are not available about the customer on the maybe customer table, you see null for customer, you see the details of the sales order number. For customer who has not bought anything, you see the customer details, you will see null about the sales order number, things like that. It is time for us to you know, start you know, just practice. Let's write the query to demonstrate what we have shared here within um, SQL Server Management Studio. Okay, so I'm back to SQL Server Management Studio and this is Adventure Work Database and this are the tables within this database. I'm going to press Ctrl N to open a new query command. All right, so the first thing we're going to practice is the inner join. And I'm going to be combining the sales order detail, like I've said, as well with the production the product table. So let's select some details like the product name, product ID, product number. If you want to know these things, it's good to fall back to this table. This is product table. Product is the product table. As you can see, name is the product name. Product number, these are the, these are the things I want to call. I can't be calling name and call it product name. It will not be called because it is only saved as name on this table. So you must know what you want to retrieve. All right, so I'll go back here. I'm just going to type my SQL. Select, I'm going to start with star from the first table. Just put the first table, which is production, production, the product. The reason why this is not coming up is because it's loading this from master. I can change this to adventure work so that I can give me those intelligence to complete them. So I have production of product. It's good this way. I can alias this as my A, which is the first table. Then I can come back here, you know, just say A dot name i'm taking name um call this as product name i'm aliasing it product name a dot i want to select the product id product id already uh, a dot what other things a uh, product number product number i need the product number yeah which is this 
right what other things i still need details from the sales order table which is like uh, sales order id and unit price but i won't call on that now until i do my join so that i can understand the table so i'm doing inner join i'm joining this with sales dot sales order detail that's the table already coming up there says other detail i'm going to call this b i'm aliasing this table as b okay uh meaning the second table on so i can easily use a dot b on what is joining them together you need to understand what brings these two tables together is the product id okay so if i go to this um diagram here and i check on this product table you can see product id on the says other detail uh, we have says other detail here we also have product id you can see the following key here so this table uh, this column can join both tables together right so coming back here on a dot product id equals to b dot product id so this way i have had that inner join meaning it's going to return only places where okay i think i still want to select some columns from the sales order detail b dot sales order you know is it says order id says order no not detail id says order id that's what i want to select and um, b dot unit price unit price all right so it's going to select on this data these columns from um this first table uh, which is the product table and also select matching only places in the second table where there are details of this guy here so let me run this execute query voila so we have them here is inner join so you're not going to see any null or empty here at all except you can see values like zero and this is what we have from this result is inner join okay let's go ahead and do another one so i can actually comment this and call it inner join so we know and the next table let's try to do our left join so left join so for left join similar thing here but let's select let's just use left join so i'm gonna make this very fast by just copying and paste uh, yeah i'm gonna copy this guy and paste so instead of calling this i'm just gonna turn it to left it's the same thing as saying left outer and again instead of writing uh inner join if i remove this and just leave it as join by default it's going to switch to inner join so it's going to give me the same result by default it will switch to inner join all right so don't forget this is the number of rows one two one uh three one seven and here i'm just going to make this left out left join like i said or left outer join it's still the same thing and i'm going to run this so it's running similar thing but you can see the number of columns are more how do i even know so if i align both of them and execute when they are done executing i can get it from this message the very first okay the second one is not yet done all right so the first one which is the inner join returns 1,021 1,317 and the second one is returning 1,21,555 because there are columns there you know that are you know fitted out already from the inner join okay so let me go back around because i want to focus on this left join here you see the difference because it's left join we're going to have okay we're going to have columns that does not exist you see these are products that we do not have the sales details about them and it start i'm just trying to navigate down so that you can see where that started you see all this product has not been sold and that is why there are no sales id or sales details about them that is what left join does give me everything from the left hand side if you have used the inner join we will lose this date product we're going to lose this product details for all those none we're going to lose them and we only have only places where there is a sales about the customer all right so let's go ahead and do the right join very similar to this uh, so it's not me but let's just copy and paste so that we can also have the code uh, the query within right join remember if i do right join i'm focusing on the right column here sales where you know give me all the sales where there's no product i'm not sure you can have sales without a product so here i can switch by changing the columns so that i have towards the left my sales table and towards the right my product table. so it's going to be similar thing but um the empty space will be on the 
on the left, not on the right. And to do that, I'm just going to move my sales details. This unit price and this guy can just cut them, paste them here, paste here, um, put a comma. Then I have these other tables. Yep. So from this same production table, yes, A. This time around, I'm just going to turn this to right join. So right join is going to do the same thing, preserve them by the right and um, make sure everything from the right is there. And when I scroll down now, you see we have empty cells, but those cells will be towards. The issue is this table should be the sales order table. So it should be the sales order table. Just going to paste that here. And this, which is still fine for us. And then I'm going to explain. Right. So this is fine. So we're seeing that this first details I'm selecting, they are from, this is the primary column, primary table. And this is the other table I'm joining to. But I want this joint to be a right one. So keep the columns from the right table and then the left one, uh, you know, just look, look at it this way. The left table is the first one you are coming across. This is the left and this is the right. So I, because I'm using a right joint, so you're going to preserve this particular column. It was preserving this column the other time, and that is this table rather the other time. That is why we didn't have the empty thing. So when I run this or execute this, and when it's done executing, you know, same thing as before, we're going to have the non, you know, feed now towards the left, unlike the one we have towards the right. It's preserving the product table by the right. All right. The last one we're going to do here is the full outer join. And to demonstrate this, I'm going to use um, two things. We'll be focusing on the customer sales table. Okay, we're going to use the sales, uh, the customer, as well as the person, as well as the sales order header. All right. So let's look at it this way. This is the sales table. Sales order header has details about the sales good, and this table also links to. I want to know the person that has bought this thing. So I need a person table. So this table leads to sales person, sales dot customer, which is this. This is customer. We have this table links directly to this guy. And this guy also links to, because I don't have the name. I only have customer ID. How do I get the name and the details of this person? You know, to get this, I have to go to people. So there's another table called person. Yeah, this person person dot person you can see it links to person dot person and it is on person dot person that i have the first name the last name so i want to get the details of the people that bought a particular product for you to get that detail you will have to retrieve the names from this table but this person dot person does not connect directly to this other detail it has to go through this customer table uh, it's not complex it's just the way the relationship flows okay so we're going to do this and one thing I realized when I was trying to check these tables out is that uh, you might not know how to join them. Very good. So customer ID joins to this sales order table, which is customer. We should have a customer ID here on this table. I know there's a customer ID. Do we have it here? Oh, okay. Interesting. So there's no customer ID on this sales order either. Meanwhile, in the updated version of the adventure works is there so how do we get it okay. back here in the previous table i've created in the previous video i've created a um, database diagram in case you don't have that you might check the video how to create this for this same database so when i double click to just open up this database diagram you will see how it is so this was generated automatically it wasn't like i did something you know but i showed you in that video how to generate it what we're going to do now is let's look at these same tables. These tables we are interested in. Let's check them. What connects them? So I'm going to navigate. Just look out for sales order. I'm looking for the sales order. Okay, this is the table. Oh, great. This is the table. And on the table, in fact, I can see customer ID. You see, this customer ID um, is still loading. Not everything is done loading. Okay, this is customer ID. You can see customer ID. And you can see this table. Customer, sales dot customer, customer ID is here. So what links both of them together? If I try to put my mouse here, you see, customer ID is the link between this customer sales dot customer table and sales dot sales order header, which is this table, customer ID. 
but obviously on this table there's nothing joining them you know what we need is the first name last name we don't have it on this table but you can also see that this table is linked to another table if you trace this line and see where's that table continue going up yeah i think there's the table and the table is just loading uh, the table is person or person and on person or person we have the business entity id we have the first name we have last name that's what we're looking for the person type uh, yep i think that's it's pretty much about this table so how do we join this one to the other table this is where this dictionary might still be very useful because i went on that dictionary just to understand better so go to person dot person and you see the details on that person dot person table these are the details where is it um person dot person so i'm looking for the person dot person phone no i need the person dot person table let's try to go back there to link pressing the pressing this day okay this person of pressing these are the columns on that table and yep right there you can see also which table the uh, which other tables the table directly links to and which tables link back to that table so this means the business entity is where this table links to and these are the keys that joins them and other tables link back to this using these different keys for example the sales the customer interesting that's what we're looking for you can see the person of person business entity id is the is the key that joins to the sales customer table but it joins to the person id on that table oh okay let's see the table again so we know that it's the business entity id but let's go back to that table that it joins to and see this is the table left for me i will have used the customer id but that's not the that's not the key it is the person id that joins back to that table you see that's where that kind of dictionary makes sense you'll have just say oh customer id should be the customer id there but no and again i need to mention that the adventure work business is quite uh interesting uh, why is it interesting you will see that when we write this query so let's do our uh, full outer join now so i'm just going to start here full outer join okay so how do we write this we need first name last name from the person or person that's the table that can give us so let's just write i need first name last name so i'm going to just write select star from person the person so that you'll be able to, you are sure of those columns you are selecting i can come back here and say I can alias this already as my A table, the first table. I'm going to join several tables. A dot first name. You can see the tables now. I'm in the column. A dot last name. Good. Okay, this is working well. So, and then I'm going to do my full outer join. We've got a full outer join. What table am I joining to? This connects to the sales dot customer. So that's sales dot customer says the customer i'm going to call this my b what is the key a dot um, business that's what joins them is on a dot business entity id equals to b dot is person id not customer id so i have this then i'm going to do another full outer join full outer join why am i doing this i'm connected to the sales dot sales order Header. that's the table i'm connecting to because i need to pick something from it so i'm going to call this c i mean i'm aliasing the c on this time around on b dot customer id equals to c dot customer id uh, because it is only this uh sales customer that links directly to the sales you know other header and they use the customer id to link so i've joined them now what i just have to do is to come back here what column do i need from this says other table let's go back to that says other table so that we can see this is the says other table do i need uh maybe the sales id um the tax amount the subtotal uh, what exactly i can pick something from this is other header i can pick let's pick subtotal we're going to pick subtotal and um yeah total deal let's just pick total deal maybe total deal from that table all right so i can then say c dot total deal is able to give me that now everything works well 
So if I run this and execute, it's just returning everything. Wow, that's interesting. Um, now I can see the first name, last name. These things are not coming from the sales customer. They're actually coming from the person dot person. They're coming from this person dot person. But we need the sales customer to be able to link it to this sales order header because we need the total deal. And these are the total deals. And interestingly, you can see these names are repeated uh, because they're different order. So if I had here, C dot order, um, let me put order ID. I should get C dot order ID. Okay, there's nothing like order ID there. I need a link to join them. So it should be says order, um, order number. Yeah, says order number should be there. Says order number, order number. Comma. That should works. Okay, says order number is there. It's working. Um, so I'm going to run this so that we can get how it is. Okay, see, so there are different orders. So you are seeing these different prices because there are different orders. That is why this guy is repeated. And then what? This scheme is not the same guy. Why is it not? That's another interesting thing. So to just wrap this up, I'm going to show us another thing. This is why Adventure Works database is very interesting. So let's select star from person dot person where you know let's say last name like I'm just gonna put it up uh from the as a guy let's let's use this to understand something uh when i run it do you see abacrombie i mean abacrombie is there three times wow why why is it there three times you can see business entity id is three and that is why those things are repeated so for the guy where so if i come back here and ask a dot business entity id so that we can know exactly put a comma a dot this so that i can continue to run this you will see that uh, there are different things here this abacrobo you see the one that is known is having a different entity id from these guys that these guys that are having different entity id from this guy that you know has bought something and why Okay, let's go back. What is the meaning of all the entity ID? You can see the person type, SC, GC, and EM. If you come back here and go to person or person table and you check for person type, you see SC means stock contact, GC means general contact, IN means individual retail customer. So what it is in adventure work, the person or person is a different tables. It's not just customer because um, by the adventure of business, your store contact can become your customer. Your vendor can become your customer. Your individual customer can still be your, can become, can turn to become your vendor. Your individual customer can come back again and work for you as an employee. That's why and your employee can also be your customer. So that is why this table is very interesting. So these guys have different entities. And that is why uh, they appear in a party like, you know, as an entity, you can see this one as a customer. You can see this one as an employee, you know, like that, like that. Right. And that is why you can see those different, uh, maybe, rules that are known for the same person. Uh, we have record for this guy. Why are we having none here? But because we are joining everything together. Okay. Um, this is all about the introduction to SQL joins. And don't forget to like this video. And in the next video, I'm going to talk about the, the self join. What is self join? So we check that and certain videos again. We're still going to talk about uh, some queries. So please keep in touch and see you later. Bye for now.